Good morning everyone. You can hear the wonderful sounds of our house, <laughs> which is still slightly a building site, but getting there, the tiling is being finished today, which makes me very happy as a human being. <laughs> it pleases my soul, but it is also a little bit sunny outside. It looks like it might be quite mild. I just walked past the back door and it was open and I was like, oh, that wasn't that chilly. So I was quite happy about that. It's put me in a good mood, but I've actually been looking forward to today for a very, very long time. I am, I'm going shopping guys, and it's not online. <laughs> I'm actually uh, going shopping because in the UK on the 12th, all of the shops have opened and we are allowed to go and get our hair done. We are allowed to go and get our nails done. I'm going to get a facial soon, like, oh my goodness. And we've been able to book all of the things that for me is like part of my self-care, like really treating myself to those bougie, treatments and like things like that is just part of indulgence for me and i really like that so i'm literally like frantically booking everything like oh, i just wish i could get my hair done because my despino is still in, in greece and i'm like no but yes i'm going shopping today and i am taking you guys with me i am really excited i'm actually heading down to the old flight house we are going to have a really really lovely day i'm also 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 going to my best friend's house this evening because she's come back to work in the office now and we are now essentially I guess allowed to be in each other's homes because she's back at work which is in my home <laughs> and so I'm going to see her house and the inside of her new house for the first time we're going to be making dinner together and just having a girly day because we actually haven't had a girly day for a very very long time understandably and I miss my best friend so much it is unbelievable like just having my best friend to myself in like a non-work capacity is something that i've realized is so like important to both of us and important to our friendship like it's so interesting our dynamic over the years has worked so well because we like struck that balance really well between best friend time and work time but covid essentially kind of took that from us and so all we had was best friend work time really and that's sad so we have been planning some best friend girl time really really like as a point so that's what we're going to be doing today i've also got a meeting with some potential people for the flower beds this morning at nine o'clock then i've got a zoom meeting with suster and hicks about designing some jackets, which I'm quite looking forward to. Um, I'm actually gonna be speaking to Jeff, who is the like founder of Suster and Hicks. It's like a family run business. I think all of his sons work for the, for the company. It's based in Woburn, which you know, holds a very, very special place in my heart because Woburn Mosaic is there and that's where I'm spending my birthday this year. And it really is just one of those like areas that I love so very much. I'm not going there today, I'm having a, a Zoom call, but I think I mentioned it in another video when I met them and it was all obviously outside socially distanced, but I just, I could just listen to, to him talk about all of the amazing things that he's done. Like he makes suits for famous people and lots of them and sportsmen and lots of lovely people and when he obviously showed me the jacket that I mentioned previously it was just like this was another level of tailoring and it's local and as you know I just I'm I'm so happy like to be working so closely with so many people that are locally so anyway I'm gonna have a call with them and then after that we are heading out to the shops both Carrie and I are gonna do a little bit of shopping today together so you guys are gonna be coming with us um, today I don't really know what's happening in the house other than I think my electrics are gonna be finished off at the greenhouse which is really good so yeah this video is gonna be one of those videos that's like come shopping with me but for the first time since lockdown which is just a bit weird and a bit surreal and feels really really good at the same time i hope you're going to enjoy it and i hope you're going to enjoy spending some girly time with me and my best friend but also taking a little peek at my day 
basically. Uh, so I've gone for an Asino shirt today. This is my long line linen shirt. I definitely don't think it's linen weather yet, sadly, but I am just loving, I'm so comfortable at the moment in leggings and a shirt and one of my little Hermes belts over the top. I've got my Prada boots on with them, which are just probably my most worn boots. And um, that's basically my outfit. I can throw on a fleece if I get cold or throw on a jacket if I get cold and I'm good to go. So I'm gonna finish off my coffee today. Today? Hopefully I finish a coffee today. Although actually that's the biggest load of rubbish ever because I barely ever finish coffees. That's like what I'm known for. I make a coffee and I'll let it sit there and I don't necessarily drink it because I drink the decaf so it's just, doesn't do anything. <laughs> Also, I wanted to give a quick shout out to this perfume from Elizabeth Arden, by the way. I feel like their white tea fragrances are so, like, they're like so unknown. And so I probably shouldn't be telling you this. And this is not an ad, by the way. I just love their white tea collection. But they've released their new Ginger Lily one. And they are so beautiful. And I feel like if you're looking for a unique kind of fragrance that you want to wear on a day-to-day -day basis that nobody really knows about and people will be really shocked about. This is definitely one of them. I think that they're so underrated. This is so fresh. I've been wearing this all week and I really think that a lot of you will like it as well. And so I wanted to give that a quick mention. I'll link it in the description box down below, but also the bottles are really like chic and beautiful and look really lovely in my dressing room like with all of the white and stuff like that so um yeah I wanted to give that a little bit of a shout out because I feel like I know that there's so many of you that love niche fragrances and that's something that I really like so I wanted to let you know about that so anyway I'm going to show you my outfit and we're going to get on with the day this is what I am wearing so this is definitely like more long line this shirt than the other shirts that I've been wearing like this but I just feel very comfortable in it and I can pop a cardigan over the top no problem also I really should have washed my hair this morning but I didn't so we've just got kind of zhuzhed hair a little bit but um, I've also got a fresh layer of the Saint-Tropez and Ashley Graham collaboration I don't even know what the product is I just call it the the um, Ashley Graham one what is it called oh yes the Lux whipped creme mousse and this stuff is another level it's almost like body makeup but then it builds a really beautiful tan as well and it's obviously with everything that saint -Tropez does it's very natural looking um i really like my makeup and i'm actually feeling really like i'm feeling in a really good place at the moment with my beauty stuff i feel like lockdown has given me the opportunity to really perfect that so i'm gonna get downstairs now that i've stopped rabbiting on at you and it's gonna be a busy one but it's gonna be a good one. I'm so excited to go shopping. Oh. Obviously, before I do anything, I need to come out and give things a blooming good water. And this is looking very untidy. <laughs> Hello everyone. <laughs> I spoke to you, um, well, you would have just seen a time lapse of me trying to water the garden, but it looked like our brand new hose head had cracked. And I, what I wasn't realizing was I was actually watering my crotch. <laughs> and then Harry, the guy that was coming to look around our garden turns up. So I've got a big wet patch in my crotch. It's not there now, thankfully it's dried. But I had a big wet patch in my crotch. <laughs> and I was like, completely taken off guard. I was like, hello. I tried to hide the fact that it looks like I've just wet my pants. But that was really good. Do you know what I really like? Is he came in and he wasn't like, oh, you need to change everything. Everything's got to go. You know, driving the price up of what we initially thought it was going to be. He's like, no, I think you've got really good foundations for your beds. We just need to get them going. I thought that was brilliant. And I, that's exactly what I think. I think once we get our beds in line, we can kind of maximise on the rest of the space really easily and it'll be fine. So it, that was brilliant. Although he did then get cornered by Ali and Ali's talking about his lawn and the bushes and his citrus trees. And I, he's been like here, I think three hours? No, two and a half. He just knew everything. He was so good. I know I'm really excited. I'm, I think we've got a really good idea now of what we're gonna do. And he's actually told us that we've got these trees at the front of our house. You know, we've got this sort of, 
You might not have seen it or, or seen it up close because Annie doesn't really let me show the front of the house that much. We've got this sort of driveway and there's conifers and then there's these other trees that are in like, they're grown sort of flat, I don't, like a trellis. And he was like, oh yeah, those trees are probably worth about 800 pounds because you, you can't buy them in the UK any, anymore. And I was like, oh wow. So he's like, yeah, what we want to do is we want to get these straightened up, get rid of the conifers. And he's just really got like, he, he knew it's exactly what he wanted to do. So I'm really confident with this and really excited obviously because I don't actually feel any other emotion other than excitement apparently um, but I'm in the greenhouse because guys we have electricity in my greenhouse how exciting is this let me just turn on my lights for the very first time oh <gasps> we have lights in the greenhouse Matt has asked me to send him a picture when it's all lit up but <gasps> How wonderful is that? And also, I bought in some of my Christmas presents finally. This is from my assistant Dee, and I'm just so, so excited, of course, to use this stuff. And I've got some other bits to grow. <sighs> very, 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 very happy. My greenhouse is finished. We've even got the shingles underneath my uh, staging tables so now I can just put everything in place I can have a really good tidy up in here and everything actually really needs a water at the moment I don't know what's happened with these guys they're not very happy this one seems to be all right but these guys aren't very happy my pumpkins sad times oh my goodness so what I need to do with my sweet peas is get rid of all of these my assistant D's told me this I need to snip all of these off quickly. I'm not gonna do it today though, because I'm gonna be in the garden. <gasps> all of my tomatoes are sprouting, guys! This is so exciting. Of course it is, because I need to find a new word for excited. What can I use? Leave suggestions in the comment box down below of, of what words I should use instead of I'm excited, because it's getting a bit tiring, isn't it? But you know, when you spend your life excited the way that I do, because every morning I wake up and uh, I'm excited to live my life. So I, it's only natural that I feel excitement a lot of the time. But anyway, I'm gonna get myself um, warm and cozy because Carrie is on her way round and we are gonna head to the old flight house for a very, very lovely girly day shopping. Ah, so exciting, of course it is. <laughs> Shut up, Lydia. This is what I'm gonna wear out today. I've got my Asino shirt on still. This is the Smith blazer that was sent to me from Rocker Boutique and it fits like an absolute dream. I love this long line blazer look. So that's what I'm gonna wear. Just tan accessories and good makeup. A little bit of blending there. <laughs> okay, let's go. Hello everyone. I'm in the car and I'm also in the car with this one. Hello. She's back to work. You're gonna be seeing a lot more of her now, which is why we haven't vlogged on the way here because we've been talking so much because obviously we have been apart for such a long time. So, and it's just all been work stuff really. So not that we're talking about in the car, we're having a girl's day. So we're talking about non-work stuff, but usually we're just talking about work stuff. Yes, it's good to have her back in the vlogs and my actual throat hurts already from talking. Do you find that now? Because we've been in lockdown, you don't talk so much. And so when you get into a social situation, whether it's just visiting someone f f from their front doorstep or whatever, your throat hurts. I find it exhausting. Yeah, yeah, that, that is very true. I find it exhausting as, as well. As much as I can't wait for our first like big night out, I'm also kind of terrified because I'm so used to like trying to go to bed earlier. And, yeah, same, and same. It, yeah. I, I it's never like, used to go to bed at like 10 o'clock. Going out at 10 o'clock these days? Are we like, no. um, oh, I'm going to need an espresso. <laughs> I think that day drinking needs to be like the one thing that's revived oh, from 100%. like early nights for the win. And also I never have a hangover when I drink early. So let's get back to yours as quickly as possible yes, so please. that we can day drink. Um, yes. The champagne's chilling off. Yes. <laughs> I'm so excited to see your house. I'm so, oh Milan, I'm so excited. It's got an agar. We're gonna make cake. We've oh decided. yeah, I forgot that we're doing that. But I've only lived in my house for two weeks and I've never had an agar before. So it'll be the first time baking a sponge cake in an agar, so it could be interesting. Can I make a request? That chair that you've got by your fireplace. Yeah. I'm gonna say that that's probably gonna be my favorite spot in your living room because I'll always want to be next to the fire. Right. Can we get a different chair? No. A bigger one? No. It needs to be an armchair? No. It needs to be bigger? 
No. It it's I my birthday on Wednesday. Your, I don't dictate your furniture. You don't dictate mine. Honestly, you. No, and, it just you it can be your. Friend. It can be the most floral and 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 colourful chair ever. Can it just be bigger? No, because bigger chairs are going in the 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 lounge. I think you need a bigger chair by your fire. It's such a prime reading spot, Carrie. No, I would it's curl my, No, in the morning I take my coffee there. I sit there because I can look out into the yeah, garden on one side chair. and I can look out over the Not like on bigger the other. so that it covers it, but just bigger so that you're more relaxed in it. You're only little. You don't need a bigger chair. I do. I do. <laughs> right, anyway, we have arrived. This is so exciting. So we're basically, I am taking you antiques shopping with me and I have Lauren on speed dial. So I'm going to be sending her pictures of stuff. But there's one particular vase that I know that I want, but I've come to one of my favourite favorite places it's called the old flight house and from where i live it's like on the way to bista is on the way to bista isn't it just past bista just past bista my bad and it is owned by the most incredible lady and her stall in there is probably my favorite really beautiful like french antique furniture and i have been so excited to come back here and they've invited me down while they're still closed i think they're opening up later on today and they are basically letting me come shopping in the old flight house and there's no one else here so we're gonna have the whole place to ourselves and i'm gonna get to see all of the lots and the units and the beautifulness before everyone gets to come and shop it later on which guys i can't believe it this just feels so exciting for me and i just miss shopping so much I miss champagne, so let's go. Yes, okay. So we're going to get inside now. Carrie's going to be on the camera helping me film because she's just got the tackers. I'm out to practice, so if it's all over the place, I do apologise. <laughs> it's all over the place anyway. <laughs> right, let's go. Oh, they've got olive trees. Oh my goodness. I can't believe we're inside. This is so exciting. We've just come into the old flight house and this is my favorite, favorite lot in the entire place. This is Sally's and this is the owner of the old flight house. This is her particular place. And this is basically what her house looks like. I'm gonna link her Instagram in the description box down below so you can go and see her house. But, oh, there is just so much amazingness. They just got this table and I want it all. I literally want it all. So you might remember that the little pair of steps that I've got in my kitchen, they were purchased from the old flight house and everyone always asks me where I got them from and they got them from here. It was so funny. They were just kind of perched by the front door and I saw them and I was like, oh my gosh, that's literally what I've been looking for. And then this, the lady at the till was like, oh, I was going to buy those. <laughs> I was like, yes. So I got them from here and basically it's made up of lots of different lots within the old flight house so it's huge so you're basically going around loads of different antique stores under one roof there's so many different kinds like there's vintage clothing stores there's obviously like the the parisian french uh, antiques then there's real kind of like farmhouse ones and there's so there must be at least I think, um, I wonder if there's like 80? Yeah, easily. Yeah, at least 80. And just so many different things to see and find. And you kind of have to go around a few times to be able to really take everything in because there's just so much to see. Like even here, there's like all of these old little pots and signs, like apothecary jars and things like that. It's so lovely. Actually, I've just seen this, which I think is quite nice. I'm gonna send a picture of this to Lauren. A vintage French botanical dated from 1941. Oh, okay, I'm gonna send Lauren that picture. Sausage matches. Oh, <laughs> very long matches. I do need those. Sausage dog matches. <laughs> I love that. So there's a particular vase or kind of jar that I'm after for my kitchen table. So, Oh my gosh, there's so much nice stuff. What style? So it's kind of similar to this, but it's more like a jar, so I could okay. put flowers in it, kind of like a vase. That's what I'm hoping for. But I love all, oh, so much stuff.
Oh my gosh, look, an old Singer sewing machine. Oh wow, that trunk. I am such a sucker for trunks. This is 145 pounds. And that one as well, that's lovely. Wow. Looks like a pirate chest. Yeah, treasure chest. Two yellow? Two yellow, so almost there. This is kind of along the lines, but it's two yellow. Oh wow, that would look so nice in your pantry. Oh, see I need to find something like this, but I'm not sure if this is the right colour for my seeds. And I probably need a few more drawers. I almost need like an apothecary, like yeah. a small apothecary chest. I always love all the old like hammered copper pots like this. They cost a fortune to buy them new. Yeah. The stuff that I absolutely love. All of these like cleaning utensils. Oh, the step. £95, that's such a good price for those steps as well. And the rope doorstop, I love this. Bird. Oh yeah, that's so sweet. And that one, mm. the bird cage. This is beautiful, I love this lot. Oh, and the little iron bench as well. It's called Cook and Butler. It's the thing, you have to look at everything like three times. Yes, and envision it where it's gonna go. Yeah. That is always the, like, you definitely have to have like a real vision in mind for what you're looking for. Otherwise you can just end up with any old thing. But this is probably one of the best areas in here. Aside from like, you're gonna, oh my gosh, that, oh my gosh, that Did butcher's block. It? Yeah. The flowers oh, like this that. is kind of like a mid-century modern style one now. The yeah. That they did in this, one. this one I love. Yeah. In fact, I've just seen a little apothecary thing. Moe, got to have one of those. <laughs> These too big. They're too big. This is quite nice. This is absolutely beautiful. The vintage suitcases. See, this is nice. Yeah, that's, that looks I almost worry it's too smart for the greenhouse. Look at this butcher's block. Oh, that. It's only two, but it looks like you could do stacking. Oh, stack yes. Of these, like, and that looks a bit more beaten up. And yeah, that's nice. Look at that butcher's block. It's got a fair bit of use, isn't it? Yeah, wow. Or even that's quite lovely. Little tin, tin box. Oh, a little mini butcher's block. The greenhouse. That's lovely. That would look lovely in your home. It would, but where? I just, everywhere. I still feel where it's all so new still. It's yeah. like everything's overwhelming in terms of choice. Yeah. You're a little bucket. Yes, I am. <laughs> I don't know where that came from, but I'm going with it. <laughs> but I could use no, because I've got. We should get this for the. We should get one of these for the boys. Or the beer thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, Millen, <laughs> I've just first. chosen. This is what I've chosen for Millen to buy. Do you remember when we played the game Questionable, questionable Antiques? <laughs> and I have to buy these. <laughs> I think fair's fair. I think she definitely got the worst end of the deal there. Millen, yes. I found your next outfit. <laughs> Mushrooms, my favourite. <laughs> my absolute favourite. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I have died and gone to heaven. There's even a sign that says seeds. Oh, it's so cute. Oh wow, this is too cute. The cart. I love the cart. This is too adorable. Well, I'm surprised that my makeup is in as much of a condition as where it probably looks better on camera. Actually, I think I've got a bit of a Homer Simpson going on where it's kind of rubbed off. Never mind. Never mind, it's like white and then turned. <laughs> um, I had such an amazing loot from there this time and I have bought so much stuff so I'm probably gonna go through that with you 
tomorrow because we're going to head back, drop it all off and then we're heading over to Carrie's house but I got so much stuff and it's just honestly so much fun that is my favorite kind of way to shop I think at uni I used to love going to places like TK Maxx and rummaging but then it got a little bit overwhelming and you could spend like three days in TK Maxx and like probably need to go for food and water at some point because you might die but <laughs> that's more of a manageable rummage it's a nice size, isn't it? I like coming here with my mum as well. Yeah, it's, it's just such a place good... you can just go for a morning. Yeah, it's such a good sociable place. Yeah. And yeah, I just think it's absolutely wonderful. And the people that own it are just oh, the dream. So nice. Yeah, so lovely. And they're little puppy dogs. Puppy oh. dogs. I loved it. And we managed to get Millen a birthday present. Yes, I got my birthday present. So there was this really lovely, I'll, I'll show it to you because I'll probably describe it really badly, but it's obviously to do with champagne because I mean what else <laughs> what else <laughs> right we're gonna drive home now and drop off the loot and then head over for baking and champagne it's gonna be a little bit echoey in here but if there's one thing I love about me if you don't mind if I toot my own trumpet for a second here I'm going to if there's one thing that I love about me it's my optimism I'm a very optimistic person and I truly loved how optimistic I was that I was gonna go home and go to my friend's house who I haven't really had much girl time with over the last few months and that I was going to vlog that. <laughs> I thought that was just yes <laughs> because I think we probably all know that that was never gonna happen but it was cute that I thought it anyway so yeah nothing was recorded at Carrie's house. I didn't get to show you how lovely her house is but hopefully in the future because that's what will be happening more moving forward. But we did have a very very lovely evening. We ended up ordering a Chinese and it came so quickly. We were very very happy with it and I probably ate too much and we did two bottles of champagne together so that's a bottle each and it was absolutely wonderful and such a lovely lovely day to spend together so yeah sorry that you didn't get to see any of the exciting stuff but we had a fabulous time and i guess that's all that really matters but now i'm in the ensuite bathroom we have two coats on the walls of the color and you may see behind me we have grouted tiles so this little vignette here is very very beautiful so this is tray run by Farron and Ball. It's not a color I'd ever heard of before, but it looks pretty lovely. It's dark, but it's gonna contrast really well with the, the tiles on the floor, which you can just see a little peek of there, and these tiles here, because there's a lot of light white things going in this room. So I thought I'd show you a quick sneak peek, but I absolutely love it. I love the color, it feels so, earthy and it's a little bit more dramatic than our bedroom our bedroom is in drop cloth and it's just a really subtle earthy tone as well but i want to show you what i got at the old flight house obviously I, at least i can promise you one thing and follow it through i went to the old flight house and we had the most wonderful wonderful time it was so funny i said to carrie i was like i feel like a bit like when i'm there i'm like let's go round again like i'm on the adult equivalent of a fairground ride and i just picked up so much stuff i've actually messaged the owners Lumi Bengal. <laughs> I um, have messaged the owners because there was another cabinet there that I loved and I didn't take it and I should have done. So I'm gonna pay for that over the phone and pick that up at some point. So I've got some little bits of my loot here. So I thought I'd show you these. I've also had some home deliveries come, come through for the house as well. So I can unbox those, but I thought I would talk you through these items and actually show you where I think that I would probably like them to go, but I know that they'll probably be, well, Lauren will have her, her own ideas of how good they look. She takes into consideration things that I never would. So she takes into consideration like the thickness of the frame. Whereas I'm like, I just like how it looks. <laughs> <laughs> she really does like get balance and tone and everything right. So I'm gonna show you the first thing, which is actually my birthday present from Carrie. I thought it would look really lovely in here in this bathroom, but I don't know yet, so I'm gonna I'm gonna grab it. It's a little bit heavy, but it was this old, almost like champagne cabinet door, which I actually loved this. I saw Lauren use something similar in one of her other projects 
And so when I saw this, I was like, I actually really like that. And obviously I love, love, love champagne. And so I thought in here, it might look quite nice. Obviously, I don't know where, but I thought that would be quite cute. I mean, it's probably too small for this wall, but who knows? I really, really love this. It says Cafe Paris, Champagne, Premier, Coupe, and then I can't read the rest. <laughs> but I loved the like old and battered frame. I love that obviously it's got Paris in there, which I love a bit of Paris, and Champagne. I just thought this was such a little nod to our friendship because we do love Champagne evenings together. And um, when I saw it, I was like, oh, I really like that. And Carrie was like, would you like it for your birthday? I was like, yes. <laughs> so she got me this for my birthday. Then this was actually a gift from the owners of the old flight house. This is a real, a real clamshell, but one of the, the big ones. There's a lot of these that are replicas, but this is an antique, real one. And I thought this would look absolutely phenomenal in this bathroom as well. But again, it may not go here. I just, oh, it's just absolutely stunning. I saw it on their page a few weeks ago, no, months ago now. And I was like, oh my goodness. And um, they gave it as a gift to me just to say thank you because I love their store. It is so wonderful and such a magical place. And Sally, the owner, is a pretty wonderful person too. She's incredibly talented. They didn't have to say thank you to me. <laughs> but they did and it's so wonderful. It really is so wonderful. These always remind me of my grandma. My grandma always had really beautiful, I always call them like curiosities, like interesting pieces all around her home. And I just remember her always having shells and those sea sponges that, that you buy. Oh, I loved it. So yeah. They also gave me this really beautiful lavender soap, which says branch d'olive. And it says old rose triple milled soap and it just is such a gorgeous pink shade it complements the color in here so beautifully if there's ever a combination of pink that i love it is when it's complemented by green for me it's the only way that i really ever like pink is when it's kind of offset like that and it looks so beautiful oh pop you on there this was another piece that i picked up and this is what I'm really finding. You can hear Ali, he's cooking in the kitchen. But I really love prints. Like I think that print shops, especially the ones like Musée Home and Decenio, they're so good for filling your walls with art. It gives you like the opportunity to fill your walls with really beautiful pieces of art. But then when you do find items that you love that are like originals or art pieces, you can then either replace them or just add them to your collection basically. And when I saw this, I knew that I had to have it. As you know, I love like botanicals and this was just so, so beautiful. This is a, I can't remember what it said on it. Oh yeah, it's from 1939. I don't even know what it is, but it's some kind of herb and it's pressed and it's all labeled down here in French and it is so so beautiful. I loved the fact that it came in a wooden frame as well because I just think that that complements our home really well because we can add lots of wood to our home. So this is kind of what I'm on the hunt for for around our house now. I wanted to get a full set of like pressed botanicals. In fact, one thing that I definitely want to do with like my time and things like that is press my own for in the house as well on some really beautiful aged paper just like this. I think it will look lovely but this one I just couldn't resist. It's got like a really beautiful sort of floral head there. So I picked that up from there as well. And then in my last video, you would have seen that I had a large version of this. I love these old jars. I can't remember what these are actually used for. It might be like apoth apothecary jars. I'm not quite sure, but these are like my favorite things for putting flowers in because they just have that rustic stoneware, earthenware feel and they're never really that expensive when I find them in antique shops. So um, I wanted to get a few more. So I got a smaller one to the one that I put on my table in my last video. And then I got this one, which is a little bit more like a pot that you can use to put kitchen utensils in or anything really. But I just, I love the tones of these. So I picked up a couple of those and then you are currently resting on something that both Lauren and I, because I was messaging her throughout, agreed was absolutely stunning. 
So please do feel free to let me know what these were used for because I have no idea what these were used for, but there was about three of these. But the way that I intend to use this is to put a glass vase inside and use this for flowers. I'm not sure where, but it is absolutely stunning. It's got this beautiful wooden lid and a big handle like this. I have no idea, absolutely no, no idea, but I know that there will be some knowledgeable person in the comments that will know exactly what this was used for. So please do let me know, but it is a real sort of talking piece and it's so big. I just think that's really, really lovely. And then this, now I don't think this is actually antique, but I think that this will be really useful for my greenhouse, for my seeds. This little cabinet was on the wall in there and I thought I could get all of my seeds in these little drawers and then maybe add some little pots in there to store tools and things like that, but it'll also double as a little pot stand as well. So I picked this up, it wasn't too expensive, but very practical and a good little color of green. So I thought that, that would be very useful, very, very useful. And then the last piece, this is more of like a, a decorative piece, I'd say. I saw these and one thing I love, another thing that I love, I love lots of things. I would love to find a pair of antique riding boots with the solid wood inserts because they used to make these amazing solid wood boot shapers and they had like beautiful almost like oak handles like bobbin handles and they were just beautiful I'd love a pair of those to just pop by the front door because I think that they would look stunning um, so when I saw these these are like old shoe shapers I thought that these would probably look quite wonderful on Ali's bookcase, in his study, or anywhere really. So I picked those up. These are absolutely hefty things. It's so funny, isn't it, that these were just a practical thing back in the day. Oh, it's size 36, so I'm guessing these are women's. Back in the day, these were just a practical tool that they needed to use to shape shoes. And now, because the craftsmanship of these alone just isn't replicated today, they are a piece of art in themselves and I thought that that was really, really lovely. So lots of little curiosities for the house that I'm sure Lauren will have a field day styling up. I was sending her pictures like, should I get this, should I get that? Um, but we're actually going antique shopping on is it Thursday or Friday to the Cotswolds. So she's gonna take me to all of her favorite antique shops there that I probably have never been to. So yeah. That was what I got and I think I got some really, really lovely pieces and I'll pop a picture on screen of the cabinet. We're kind of thinking of it for the bathroom to hang on the wall as like a little styling thing but I've got it reserved so I can just run by and pick it up whenever I need to, basically. But Mr. Millen Gordon is getting the, I think he's like making chili con carne or something like that. He's going to get that going and then we're going to take Porter for a walk because that's all I do in my vlogs nowadays but I love it so much. And then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna open some of the stuff because I haven't seen, I don't know what is in these boxes. So I thought I would open them with you for things around the house. Really happy and I just loved going shopping again. That's probably the only shopping that I'll do nowadays. Famous last words. But you know, I don't really like going shopping into like department stores or anything like that so much anymore. But antique shopping is my absolute favorite thing to do. I love that every time you go into an antique store, there's like, you can go in there and you can do one kind of lap of the store and then you can do another three laps and each time you'll always see something different and you'll always see something and be like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I almost missed that. Like I walked straight past uh, this really beautiful piece, like three times before I actually noticed it and loved it and picked it up. So yes, it's my favorite thing to do. I wish that I could do like a big antiques shop with all of you guys. I think that would be so much fun. I was also just opening some boxes to make space in our hallway and I opened up this. Look how incredible Alana looks. Oh my goodness, she must be over the moon. She's put together her own, I think it's her own edit of her favorite MAC products and I cannot wait to get into this box because her like vibe, her makeup, her style, everything about this girl I absolutely love. She's like a ray of sunshine. She literally is like a ray of sunshine online and 
I can't wait to have a look at this. I really can't. So let's see what she's picked and I can't wait to have a play. Oh, can you still see me? Please don't fall off because if my camera hits this floor, it's not going to be good. Oh, there we go. That's a bit better. I hope whatever lipstick she is wearing in this is in this box because it looks amazing. Oh, is there a MAC Fix Plus in here? Because if there is, I am almost out. <gasps> yes, 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 yes. Okay, we have, oh, it's a lip gloss. Is that what she's wearing on her lips? Oh, interesting. So she's got this over stripped down. I would love to try this over spice because obviously I'm a spice girl through and through. I'm a spice girl. <laughs> I have spoken about this on my vlogs already, but I honestly, I thought that this was only for the slay your makeup type of girls for so long. And then since Alex, my makeup artist, started using this on my face and on my body in shoots, I use this every single morning. Which one is this? Is it any different or is it the same one? Ooh, this is the coconut one. Okay, in fact, you can never have too much of this. So I'm gonna get some of this on. Oh, so so good so i'm gonna be trying out this i'm gonna try it out with stripped down as well but sometimes i find that stripped down is too light for my natural lip color so it never looks as intense on me so i'm, I'm gonna try it with stripped down but then i'm gonna also try it over spice and then we've got strobe cream in gold light and you know what i love that everything in here is like an addition because everyone's so different like usually you'll have your foundation nailed, you'll have your mascara nailed, but everything in here is like, you can play around with it with the items that you love and they're more like enhancements rather than a whole kind of look. I love this. So we've got the strobe cream and we've also got the Whisper of Guilt highlight and it looks intense. I can't wait to play with this. I'm gonna play with this tomorrow. And then also, this has just arrived from Eborian, and I've actually never used anything from Eborian, but this is their CC water, and it's a fresh complexion gel skin perfecter. Now tomorrow, in the evening, I am going for laser and also a hydrofacial, and I cannot wait. So once I've had those done, I am gonna be ready for products as lightweight as this, so I think I'm gonna give it a try. Very exciting stuff, but congratulations, Alana. This is so perfect. <laughs> I'm gonna put it all back together now. <laughs> Don't wanna use it, so nice. Oh dear. Right, we've got a few boxes here to open. Some that arrived at the house that was ordered by the um, Lauren Casey team, and some which arrived for me. But some of them, I don't know what's in them, so um, an interesting one. Oh, okay. This is not one that I should really unbox because these are the sort of marble, what's the word? Like they almost, it's kind of like the bull nose that, that finishes off the marble walls above the vanity unit. So I'm not gonna get these out because these are delicate and I don't want that to be my responsibility. So we shall leave that one. Uh, then these ones, they have come from Rowan and Wren. So I'm guessing that some of these are gonna be new handles for the vanity unit because we didn't go with standard quarter handles from what I gather. Mm -hmm. Oh no, these are hooks. So these are the hooks for the understairs cupboard just so that we've got somewhere to like hang things. We want to put people's coats under there. We have some very, very beautiful aged brass little hooks. It's amazing the detail that they go into with everything. Even the, the hooks inside the cupboards look lovely. So I will put those to one side as well. Honestly, nothing excites me more than homeware unboxings. And this is another one from Rowan and Ben. My goodness, they come in little drawstring bags. How cute. What is this? Oh, is that a toilet roll holder? Yes. <laughs> okay, that's a toilet roll holder. This looks like a toilet roll holder but in a different finish, like an aged brass finish, whereas that one looks like a sort of aged nickel. Is this gonna be a towel ring? I think this is gonna be a towel ring. This is all gonna be like bathroom fixtures, isn't it? What is that? A knob of sorts? <laughs> yeah, that's a towel ring. These could be for either the cloakroom or the ensuite, I have no idea. Very exciting stuff. Bathroom fixtures. And then in these boxes, 
These have come from Smith and Knorr, and I believe that this is a collaboration with Carol Annett. Yes, from Country and Townhouse. And these are, oh wow, they're so beautiful. These are their bespoke cushions. Oh wow, look at this. Look at this. You know I have a thing for cushions, okay? So this is like a, a sort of green herringbone tweed. I love the piping on these as well. And I love how they've got a little hessian bow on them. So the brand is Smith & Knorr, but they do like lots of different fabrics and really natural, good quality. Usually, I think they're all British made fabrics and you can use them for anything, but this is just their cushion cover. They look very lovely. And you all know that I love a bit of green. So I'll link in the description box down below where you can um, have a look at all of their fabrics. And basically, I know that cushions are a big favorite amongst a lot of people. These, these ones, oh my gosh. Okay, these are my favorites. Oh, they've got tassels on them. How cute, oh my God, they're massive. <laughs> look at these. These are kind of like a green, a greeny gray, tartan really smart but with a beautiful tassel oh look at that they are blooming lovely it's soft as well so it's not too scratchy or anything oh hello me hello we should have some fun styling those up i think anything green Dear Lydia, we are delighted that you loved our collection of Smith & Knorr fabrics. So these are the, I can't, Aurea, can't read how, what, what that says. For your beautiful home to make designing it a little bit more fun. Thank you for your support of our range. Love, Carol & Knorr. Absolutely beautiful and so right in my home. They fit the colour palette perfectly and I just think that they are absolutely beautiful. Oh, I forgot this little box down here. Oh, some oh wow, oh wow. Oh no way, they've done some face masks in their fabrics as well. So beautiful. Oh, I think that Ali's gonna love these. Ali, look at these face masks. Oh, this is for Ali and a little something for Ali. We hope you love our new male masks, not yet released, but coming soon. And that's so funny. They must know you, Ali, because they put in hot chocolate sachets, but like the, the posh hot chocolate style. Oh, face masks. Thank you. And your hot chocolate for you as well. Well, that was a lovely little send out. Thank you so much. I think that's enough unboxing for today. Just popped one of the cushions on this chair here with my Barnaby Gates pheasant cushion. I think it looks lovely.